2K Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the RBC Canadian Open is about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this third round action. Hi, I'm Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam. And Rich, this player has been doing really nicely, building that solid advantage over the field. But today's just as important as the first few, isn't it? Of course it is. And the way they're playing, however, though, I don't see them going anywhere but up. I just find what they're doing out there to be fairly flawless. Now, is it possible they stumble? Of course it is. But I'm having a hard time understanding how that could happen. Well, it's all promising to be a good day. Can't wait to see what happens. And let's see what he can do here today. Nicely done. Second shot here on the first. Lovely effort, that. There's part of about six feet coming up. This is their look at birdie. Yeah, this is looking nice. Yeah, nice mid-range birdie putt, that one. And that should calm whatever nerves this player has. Nice opening hole. Currently in first position. Here we have a long par four. It's going to take two great shots to get on. Quality shot, that one. Playing from around 160 yards. That might be one club too many. A wonderful shot. A chance for Booty here at the second. What have they got in front of them here, Henny? Just got to trickle this one in the front door. It's downhill. This one's dialed in. Oh, well played. Kind of like it. Two in a row. He's feeling it. Now that finds him in first place. Always positive coming off a birdie. Let's see what happens here. Looks to be going with the six iron. Good shot there. And this putt is for a big two on the scorecard. This is on a stupendous line. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. And this one is for his par. That's well hold.
So no change on the leaderboard for this player after that hole. Teeing off here at the fourth. Well played, mate. Keep focused on that flag while playing to this elevated green. Chosen the pitching wedge here. Good shot there, Beamer. All right, Henny. What's he got in front of him here with this putt? He's looking at 20 foot. This will be a good putt to hold. Just a four footer remaining. There it is. Still in the lead now after that hole. It's time to step on the tee here at the fifth. Good shot there. And what are we looking at here, Henny? And from about 105 yards. Going with the pitching wedge here. This one looks to be on a pretty good line. That was a beauty. Nearly doesn't get any better than that. Amazing shot. Always well, nice to have a birdie putt. on a good line. Well, you're going to be hard to catch now if you keep making putts like that. Unreal display this week with that wand. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. Let's see what happens here on the sixth. This hole can play anywhere from 170 to 200 plus there, Luke. Don't miss it right or left, though. Those bunkers are nasty. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. This one heading towards the green. Tell you what, they've got their rhythm going there. That's another green in reg. Well, the practice is paying off here, Luke. This player is relentless. This looks like it's got the speed and the line. And with that, that's their fourth birdie. And I like it two in a row. He sits in first position. Time to step on your tee shot here at this long par four. Well, 
Looks like they put a good swing on that one. That should find the short stuff. And this shot here coming up from around 130 yards. This green sits well above them. An extra club is required. Look at the line on this one. Get in the hole. Great shot into the seventh and a chance for birdie. Pretty straightforward four-footer coming up here. He's staring down a birdie putt here. And racking up their fifth birdie of the day. And this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. And after a birdie at the last, they take the honour on the hole. Wow, what a shot. And as good as they putt, you almost have to guarantee this one. Putting for birdie here. Ooh, nice looking putt. Gee, that's good playing. Six birdies in a round. He's currently sitting in first place. Oh, exciting times on the tee of a par five. You like that, didn't you? This shot from around the 200 yard marker. Going with the five iron here. All right, we're going with an extra club here. Yeah, that was a safe play. Putting for an eagle. Oh, that's frustrating. This putt is of nine feet. Not a bad line, this. A oh, well hold, you'll take the birdie. And now that finds him in first place. Teeing off now on the 10th hole.
well struck. What a shot! Almost went in the bucket. That's a good looking shot there. Oh, good look at Birdie here. Their short game today has been absolutely sublime fun to watch. And that's eight birdies today. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. Time to tee off on the 11th. In this hole, we could call what? Serpentine, maybe, Luke? Yeah, that's what we're going to go with. However, don't get bit and leave it short right in that bunker off the tee because you will be rattled. Going with the hybrid. This one looks like it'll safely make the green. Yeah, not a bad effort, that one. Up onto the green and a chance to hold your putt. What's in front of them, Henny, with this putt? Setting up this putt 24 feet from the cup. Their boldness paid off. They've got this for their eagle. Starting to look really good. Just building upon his advantage. He keeps making the important plays. And let's have another look at that one. What an amazing putt from way out. Still in the lead now after that hole. Now teeing off on the 12th hole. <laughs> Looks like they got all of that one. That's on a good line. Getting ready to play their third. Yeah, that's a top little chip shot, that one. Yes, very smooth tempo there on that chip. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. This hole is a par three. to be going with the five iron. Good sounding strike, that one. Oh, that's a great shot. And sets up a birdie look here at the 13th. Oh, so close. He's got a 
pop out here. Let's see if he can make it. No movement up or down on the leaderboard for this player. Let's begin the 14th. Playing from around 150 yards here. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. This one might need to get down a little. Mm, that's right out of the copy books. Exquisite. Got to like their chances from there. Just 10 feet to the cup here. Hey, nice looking line. Oh, what a super shot. And just keeping it in neutral on the leaderboard. Let's see what happens here on the 15th. This is full send. Taking aim from around 240 yards out here. One extra club required to this elevated green. Interesting choice of the driver here. Not able to find the green in two, but a bold play. It was going to take two mighty lashes to get there. However, they've left themselves in prime position. And just about eight feet left to the hole. This for back-to-back -back birdies. I don't mind the look of this. Gets that one to go down, and that's back-to-back -back birdies. Back-to-back -back birdies move in the right direction there, Luke. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard. On the tee of a par three. This is the most difficult par three on the golf course by a long shot. Stanley Thompson added some bunkers to the rear of this green just to make the golfers accountable for their distance control. That's just me. We need this one to bounce right. Left yourself an opportunity. What's in front of them, Henny? Yeah, they've left it in the perfect spot here, just below the hole. They can be aggressive up the hill. Big chance here. Well, what a lovely putt to make. Oh, what a shot that was. Why don't we revisit the magic? I need to see this again because I still can't believe they hold that. sits in first position. Teeing off here on the 17th hole. That one's right out of the top drawer. This shot coming from around the 150 yard marker. Chosen the pitching wedge here. Oh. 
A wonderful shot here at the 17th and a chance for birdie. Luke, nothing gets past you. Yes, this kid is a stud. And that will drop in for birdie. And there's no movement on the leaderboard after that hole. Here we find ourselves on the tee of a long par four. And they're playing from about 140 yards out. That's an absolute ripper. What a shot. And a fantastic look upcoming. Oh, this will be good for the momentum. Let's make this birdie putt. That signs off on this player's performance for the day.